Hi guys, Supersonic Boom 7 here and Blue Eyes 48. And today we're doing a little let's play of Spyro the Dragon 1. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the quality is bad. We do not have a game capture yet. A game well, capture? <laughs> a game capture? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, sorry if the quality is a little bit bad. I'm afraid we do not have a uh, a game capture yet, and I think we're gonna solve that if you can get one. Yeah. Then bring your laptop around. You have already filmed it. Then. Or you. We'll find you just way. plug it into the back of that, and it goes into your oh, I see. laptop. Right, yeah. But we're gonna film on the camera because I think you know the camera actually doesn't. It's look not that too bad. bad it's actually. not too bad. It's not too that bad. So, yeah, Luke's filming, I'm going to be playing the game and discussing our nostalgic moments. Yeah. Game. So, what do I think of Spider Dragon? Awesome. I think the second one's better. Third one's the best. Second. First. Second. Third. Second. Third. First. Third. Third. Duck Season of Fire. Square <laughs> <laughs> no, Season of Ice. Actually, that was alright. It was. Oh, I could, I? You could. I'm gonna get a game capture. Ooh. Ah. Anyway, uh, the adventure begins. Now we're gonna to have to run release this sack of crap. <laughs> I really hate the repetitiveness of this. Yeah. Eighty times in the game, you have to do it. Is it actually Yeah. <laughs> that was my hand. <laughs> that was your foot. Oh, Jesus. Just some bit free games. My Jesus can't help you. Jesus is dead. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Anyway, we're just doing a little playthrough and see how the testing holds out. Um, this is the we're doing an actual playthrough. Um, probably, probably yeah. not. Probably. Why not? It depends oh, the how well this video gets. The jewel thieves. I remember the jewel thieves. Jewel thieves. Yes. Take Kill them thieves. Drive they by. Stole my chicken. Drive by. <laughs> drive by. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is drive by. But yeah, what I like about this is that it's really reminiscent a little bit to um. Yeah, in, to my opinion, I think it's probably one of the first ever open world games made. Well, because yeah. what I mean is that you start out in a hub world, don't you? Which is open world, but then you then have little mini levels connected to the hub world. <laughs> you headbutted the wall. What? You headbutted it, it's okay. Yeah, so I have to release this back. And yes, there is a, a we also there is a way you can also play a crash free demo on this as well. Yeah, it's no cheat or something. Um, it's a cheat and it's pretty easy to do on the uh, main menu of the game. So it's very easy and cheap. Is it doing very well? Yes, yeah. it's doing pretty well. He's helping and protecting you. Keep an you eye on your hand. Can you actually hold your hand like that for long? Yeah. Because the <coughs> my knees rest on my knees, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I am a stand. <laughs> well, you actually can actually get stands for um, phones, can't you? You did it again. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Yes. Um, the main um, thing what I really didn't like about it is that I think it was too repetitive. Um, yeah. With some things, like, you know, the collecting gems thing. Much, and there wasn't really anything. Well, I found it okay. It was okay, but like it didn't add anything new. And well, it was the first game in the series. So I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? But back to the open world thing. It's like it's Argos like it starts oh. out. Oh, I thought his name was Argos. <laughs> yeah, and um, there also is a demo um, for Spyro One on the Crash Free Disc or on the digital download from PSN. Um, you just press up. You go on the main menu. You go up, up, down, down, left. Left, right, left, right, square, I think, correct me, but I think it's that. And you, on the UK one, I think you play a demo of the hub world of the artisans and town square and one of the flight levels. And that's really it. It's not really a good demo, I think, but it does show off what the hub world really is. But if you can get the game off eBay, um, not that cheap, but... £60. If, if you're American, then if, if you're $60. American, $60. I don't yeah. know. It depends how correct this is. But if you've got a PSN account, you can get this you can get the Fiber. trilogy for about £8. Yeah. So it's really fairly cheap. It cost me £6 for Spyro 2 on its own. But I do have Spyro 2 on this, actually. I might probably sell it. I have one, two, and three on this. Where are you going to sell it? Keep eBay. It. Keep it. 
No, I'll sell it on eBay because I'll get a lot more money for it. But anyway, um, yeah. Any for you? Yeah, more jewel thieves. Jewel I'm going to get all the gems in this world first. <laughs> They're so annoying, aren't they? You stole my chicken. You stole my chicken! <laughs> What is it with you and Yeah, me and um, Luke, um, we're um, gamers as well. Um, we've been friends for coming up to about a year now, isn't it? So yeah, a year in September. Yeah, because well, we um, a year in September, so we've known each other for not that long. 65 years. 65 years and 29, years and 29 days, huh? Um, <laughs> no, but um, I think we both kind of share, we kind of are a little bit alike. Like, obviously Luke's more rock, likes more rock <laughs> and I like more dubstep rap and... Um, but both of us are... Like gamers. Yeah, but we are old gamers and we have like, that share in common and like, you know, we both grew up with Spyro and Crash in our childhoods and so we did we, well, I didn't, I mainly grew up with Ratchet and Clank more than Jack and Daxter. Yeah, because you're, um, you're 17 or 20. So yeah, so, he, so yeah. Luke grew up with uh, Jack and Daxter a lot more than I did and yeah. I recently got into it. What do I think of it? Good franchise, but I think Ratchet and Clank is a little bit better. It's much better, it's much better. Ratchet and Clank is a lot better. So, yeah, let's go to the first hub. Oh, I need to get you. This is hub world. Yeah. Um, just remembered that. Jesus. Um. Yeah. Um, another thing, what I really didn't like about this game was that um, I think Spyro can be a bit loose when he charges. Like a boat. I don't know. If, <laughs> like a boat. Um, no, no, you're kind of reenacting the scene in Young know, Jones. <laughs> bit where he has the boat chase with that in Italian. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I can't seem to find the last two games. So, um, that's because they are back in that place. What place? And there's towers though. There's towers in that tunnel. Turn behind you. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, in sure. there. In, yeah, in there. Are you sure? Yeah. Do right. Do right. Yeah. No, not down there. Jesus Christ. Turn. It's in that place where there's those, those towers, and um, you was just there. Sorry, I didn't see it. I think it's like. Is it over here? Nah. I don't remember. So Ten. when we get to 15 minutes, we're probably going to stop and I'm going to do another video. But anyway, we're just saying this is a test thing, so it's not like really... Yeah, it's um, got to 7 minutes and a half so far. Yeah, that way. Oh no, Jesus Christ. I, I can't find it now. Is it over there, do you mean? Where the towers are? It's past... There? Uh, no, no. Yeah, that, that's it, yeah. Alright. I think it's past... Yeah, Luke's going to be my coordinator on. as well to see if I have Le missed any gems. Logistics. Because we're going to try and do 100%. I mean, I've had that yeah. on my old account. Actually, it, it goes to 100 and like 16 or something, doesn't it? 110, 110, 120, I can't remember. That's it. Through, through there. Do it right. Yeah, uh, up there. See? Ah, see yes, yeah, yes, yes. That's what I was talking about. Sorry, I thought you went through the tunnel. What was that? But yeah, I will admit, though, is that for some strange reason, after I play this, I have a surprisingly taste to play Crash Team Racing. Yeah. I don't know it's because of the mood of it. Do you know, I've never completed that. What, Crash Team Racing? Yeah, I've never completed that. No, I have. It's not really... I think the story in Crash Team Racing was really bland. But, yeah, you know, really. we're just talking about Crash, we're always talking about Spyro. Um, will we do a Crash um, Team Racing thing? Um, I we could do. I, I don't see why not. It's not as good as Spyro, but it's still pretty good, isn't it? No, but anyway, let's go to the first level, Dark Hollow. Now, we did a video where we found this random music thing, what we believe was a cut. Well, we don't know if we believe it, what we believe is it was a cut music from the game. What it didn't make it in. Don't you um, pause it here? Or is it? No, can you continue? Uh, continue for about five, four minutes. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I think it was, went really well. Um, I mean, it was quite weird. We went down this tunnel thing um, earlier, and when we were playing it, and like, um, we didn't like notice it was notice it was there. And it hasn't played on this level before. And it came. I want to see if it comes up again. And I want to see what you guys actually think of this because I think it's actually pretty extraordinary, and interesting. Perhaps it could be the original music for Dark Hollow. Yeah. I mean, perhaps because I think there was some music which did get cut, actually, didn't it? Yeah. And was revised and all that. And for some strange reason, this level reminds me a little bit of the uh, Crash Warp Room for some awkward reason. Oh, really? Crash Free Warp Room. Yeah. Of the dark. I see what you mean. Yes, doesn't it look? Yeah. Like, imagine if the warp room was, like, here. Yeah. And you look up that way. Imagine that, people. But anyway. Anyway, I like the Crash franchise, but it was... I want to discuss something here. Um, a bit of a discussion about it. When Insomniac Games left and they worked on the Ratchet and Clank series, they said the reason why they did that was because they wanted to add a bit more variety into the game and stop making the gameplay get boring and old. Well... Insomniac's decision to do it was kind of stupid in my opinion because 
They didn't really give him credit. I thought I was like, I just said, oh yeah, because he can't <laughs> climb. I like, he can climb, but he can't use anything with his paws and his hands. He's smart, right? Yeah, um, well, that's what Ted Price said. Climb. He can climb, but like, um, he can't lift up anything with his hands. He has a disability. <laughs> oh, no, really. Don't say that. Sorry, please. sorry. We have to be um, kind of controlling always. We have to, we're both autistic. So we have to be sensitive to other people. We're both, yeah, we don't want to be sensitive. We don't want to be sensitive. Sure? Darius? Oh my god, it's Darius. Thought, there's one of them in here called Devlin. Devlin's a British rapper. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not doing bad. He fell down like a sack of potatoes. Yes. Why should you mean like Charlie Timpson? <laughs> Can't say it, like we're recording, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, we can get sued for that. <laughs> no. Oh my god. So it's okay. He will never know. He will never know. He probably doesn't even know how to use the um, penis. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I think you mean the uh, interwebs. Yeah, same thing. I don't know what it actually does if you like these. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. It just brushes the place off. I think that has something to do to cause the music. Maybe that's what changed. No. But maybe. Could it? Maybe. I mean, because after we flamed that and we went down a tunnel, the mu after the, the music replayed again, it then changed. But, uh, but n not this time. This time, we tried a tunnel thing again. Into the tunnel, or fudge. Belly flop on me, Like a sack of potatoes. But yeah, I don't know why um, everyone says that this has the worst music in the um, series. Spyro, well, not the, the, not the series, the Spyro trilogy. Like the underrated music. Well, I think it's too underrated. I think it's I okay. Think it's it's pretty good. The, I think it's the second best music. First being? First being Spyro 2's music. Spyro 2's music was insanely awesome. The hub world music. Oh. Yeah. Mate, this hub world music. Oh, makes you feel like he was in a dream world, right? Yeah, sure, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah! It felt like he was in a dream. That's what it felt like, dream music. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Summer Forest. Summer Forest yeah. and was it Autumn Plains in Winter Time? Though? Yeah. And I think the levels in the hub was Miss Artsons, Peace Walkers, What's Magic Crafters, the Peacemakers, was it? I can't even forget that. Um, Peacemakers, that's the first one we're talking about. Peacemaker, pe pacemaker, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and, um, pacemaker. Magic Crafters, Beast Makers, Dreamweavers, and Nork Nexus. And fun fact for you uh, Spyro fans that, out there, uh, or for any person, uh, Nork Nexus was actually originally going to be really big, but because of the development time, um, Insomniac Games uh, decided not to have it mm. in, the, in the final pre-production of the game. And... Uh, not Naughty Dog. It's Naughty Dog made Crash. Or wait, wait. Are oh, you done? No, you're not. Oh. It, it's in the chest. The key. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Door. No. Um. <laughs> Back to the start. Damn it. This level is really short, actually. Luckily. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but after... Yeah, well, it's the longest while. level. Was it twice as long as the first one? Yeah. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, it's twice as long as the first one. Yeah, but yeah, I think we will think about if we do want to turn this into a whole walkthrough series. One, two, and three, I don't mind. Um, well, here's wow. the thing, with one and th with two and three, it's really hard to get the collectibles. I mean, we will probably try it. Really? No, it's not. Well, not three, it's easy. Two, maybe. What are you talking about? What are you chatting about? It's easy. Everything. Everything. Yeah, okay. You can finish a level now. Oh, music change. Yeah, it might change now. Nope. No. That's weird. That was very weird. Because it wasn't the last time it, it changed and was like, what wait, we've, we, well, we believe it could be cut music from, you know, this level which didn't make it into the game. So Maybe it was a terrorist attack. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, um, yeah, um, we're going to end it here now. I'm going to start another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. This is Super Sonic Boom 107. And like and comment and subscribe for 3Pi. Like no, not 3Pi. Otherwise, they're going to probably... False advertising. No, I'm joking. False advertising. There's no pie. Yeah, there's no pie. All right, bye. Bye.